Hi everyone, it's Beth from the Wilton Test Kitchen and I'm back to show you another piped buttercream flower. Today I'm going to show you the Wild Rose, which is a really classic flower and it looks beautiful all on its own, but it's also great for putting into floral arrangements that have different flowers in it as a filler flower. So what I'll need to make this flower is a tip 104 and a tip one. And I have all of my tips here in my tip organizer because I'm a mess in the kitchen and I need a lot of help like a lot of help. I'm really, really messy. And this is one of the ways that I can stay organized with my cake decorating. So here's my 104 and here's my one. And I'm also going to need my flower nail. Fit your bags with the tips. And with the tip 104, put your icing at a medium consistency in the color that you'd like your petals to be. And with the tip one, this will be for our centers. Now wild roses, in nature are usually pink, white, or red, and they come in a lot of variegated colors as well. But today, I'm gonna mix it up and do some purple ones. Because a part of the fun of piping flowers is you can do anything you'd like to match your cake design. Attach a parchment square to your flower nail with a dot of icing, like so. And then with the tip 104, hold your bag at a 45 degree angle at three o'clock if you're a righty, Switch it up to nine o'clock if you're a lefty. You wanna start in the center of the nail, squeezing up and applying pressure and turning the nail a fifth of a turn as you go slightly up and back to center. That's how you get five petals. It's a fifth of a turn each time with the motion of the turn as you're squeezing the bag. Now take your tip one and hold it at a 90 degree angle to pipe a cluster of tiny dots right in the center of the flower. We need to freeze our flowers so that we can remove the parchment paper. And I'm going to let them freeze in my waveformer here. This gives a little bit of motion to the flowers as they freeze so that when you peel the parchment off, they have motion with them. It gives it a little bit more of a natural look. And you can do it on both sides of the wave, either the convex or the concave side. Ooh, I feel like I got sciency there. Just fill up as many as you need and then pop them in the freezer for about 15 minutes until they're ready to go. When you're ready to decorate your treats, take your flowers out of your freezer and peel them off of the parchment. Super easy to do. Place them on whatever you're decorating. Super cute. So there's the wild rose. I need your suggestions for which flowers you'd like to see next, so please leave me a comment below. And give this video a like, and make sure you subscribe to the Wilton channel so that you have access to all of our great baking and cake decorating videos all of the time. I'm Beth, and I'll see you next time.